okay there used to be something else in pocket number three and there's still some other stuff in there but those papers are in there too ok that's the paper that you're going to use to write your poem on now i have that paper ready right here in a transparency so that we could look at it that can you go get the lights please ok what i also did is i have um, borrowed elena's object collection so I have Elena's tray here and it has her marble and her feather and her shell and her rock. I decided that I was going to write my first poem about these things. Remember in your poetry folder, you already did a list of details about these objects. You wrote some similes about these objects where you said that the objects were like things that they're not really like. You wrote some metaphors about your emotions, about what happy is and angry and excited and you also uh, did a bunch of work with powerful verbs. You wrote some sentences using powerful verbs. And in some cases, what you did was repeated yourself. You used some repeating language. So you said stuff like, I hope I get to go to Disneyland. I hope my brother doesn't hit me. I hope I get a new puppy. And that was repeating yourself. So I'm going to try right now when I'm thinking of writing this poem. And I'm thinking of writing it about one of these objects today, although you can write a poem about whatever you want. I'm going to think of all of the work I've done so far in the poetry folder. That I've used powerful verbs, that I've used repeating language, that I've used similes sometimes, and that I've used metaphors. And I'm going to see if I can take any of that work I've already done and use those ideas to write my poem, okay? So I think I want to write about this shell, okay? Because it's interesting looking and it has some interesting colors to it and it has an interesting shape and Elena has been thinking about this shell quite a bit. So she's written some details about it and she's written some similes about it just like you've done about the objects that are on your tray, okay? On your paper, this first line here that's a little bit shorter on the line is just to remind you that this could be the title of your poem. Sometimes I can't think of what my title is until the end, just like when you write a book. Sometimes you can't think of your title till you're all done. If you know your title, you can write it first if you want to. And then your poem goes on these lines. And then this line down here that's a little bit shorter is a place for you to write your name. Okay, so this is where you're going to write by Sarah by Maureen, so we know who the author of the poem is, okay? Could we write our letters? Of course, yes. Um, could we, like, color a picture of what it's on? No. Okay, so I'm going to write about this shell right here, and I'm just going to start by saying, Shell, you are like a fan. That's what I'm going to put on the first one. Shell. You are like a fan. Now, the shell isn't really a fan, but it kind of looks like a fan, and that's a simile. And I'm going to write that because it has to do with this shell. Now, look what I did here. I wrote, shell, you are like, and then I put a fan on a different line. When you're writing a poem, you can decide where you want to break your lines. And you can break your lines wherever it seems nice to you. So it seemed nice to me to say, shell you are like on the first line and then put a fan on the second line, okay? I'm gonna write, hmm, see the color of that? Okay, so I'm gonna call that color rosy because it's kind of reddish rosy. So I'm gonna write, shell you look Rosie. So now I have two good similes right there. I have two good similes. I'm saying the shell is like a fan and the shell is like rosy. Now what I want to do, I think, is use some powerful verbs. And I'm going to use one we used last week. I'm going to say, I hope. I'm going to say, I hope you don't miss the ocean. Because I'm thinking the shell is out of the ocean now and maybe it misses the ocean. I'm going to say, I hope you don't miss, and now I'm going to break my line right here, the ocean. 
I want to use another powerful verb. I could use I hope again, because that would be repeating myself, and that's okay to do in poems. But I think what I'm going to do is use another one that we used the other day. I'm going to say I wonder. I'm going to say I wonder where you came from, because I don't even know where this came from. I wonder where, oops, I need more there. You, you know what? I want this all in one line. So even though I'm running out of room, I'm going to squeeze it right there. Oopsie, spelled from wrong. Let me fix it. I wonder where you came from. You know what? I need to reread because I'm getting to the end and I probably want to make my poem come to the end, but it will help me to read what I wrote so far to decide what I want to end with. Shell, you are like a fan. Shell, you look rosy. I hope you don't miss the ocean. I wonder where you came from. I'm going to say, I glad, I'm glad I have you, Shell. Okay, yeah. because even though like we uh, this shell came from the ocean and I don't know where it came from and it seems kind of sad that it's away from the ocean, I'm still glad I have it. So I'm going to say that. I'm glad I have you. Oh, I'm going to say I'm glad I have you, shell. I'm going to put shell down here one more time. Okay? Hmm. I think it sounds good. I'm going to read it over in a second, but... I'm thinking my title should just be Shell, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Yeah, because it's really all about the shell, so I'm just going to call it Shell. You yes. might have to have a more complicated title sometime. It kind of depends on what you decide to write about. Okay, so here's what I'm going to, here's what my poem, oh, wait, let me put my name right here by Jody Black. That way I can read the whole thing together here. Okay. Now what I did was I thought of all the work that I did in my yellow folder and I thought about how I used similes and metaphors and powerful verbs and repeating language and then I thought about my collection of objects because I had thought about those a lot already and that's what I decided to write a poem about today. You don't have to write a poem about your objects if you don't want to, but this might give you an idea if you're needing an idea about what to write a poem about. So here's my poem. You might want to close your eyes and listen to it, see how you think it sounds just with your ears. Shell. Shell, you are like a fan. Shell, you look rosy. I hope you don't miss the ocean. I wonder where you came from. I'm glad I have you, Shell. By Jody Black. Sound pretty good? Yeah. yeah. I think it sounds pretty good for my first poem for this year. I think it sounds pretty good. Okay. <laughs> 